Hello and welcome to a brand new series on Boston United FM, Boston Swap, a director of football challenge. As you can see on screen, Boston United have been demoted down to the United Counties League Premier Division, in place of their neighbours Boston Town. They have been shifted up into Conference North. Local derbies this season will be fellow Lincolnshire clubs Deeping Rangers, Hull Beach United, Pinchbeck United and Sleaford Town. In fact, the opening day of the season sees Hull Beach visit York Street. All of the players at Boston have been released and replaced by a mixture of random players and some youth teamers. We have a mix of nationalities ranging from a Brazilian fullback to an attacking midfield from Guinea-Bissau. This is the man I am putting all my trust into, Mr Transfer Genius. Well, I have to. He's doing everything for me in terms of recruitment, player contracts, backroom staff and scouting. He gives me the players to work with and I hopefully win some football matches. I've looked through the squad, inserted my favoured 4 2 3 1 tiki taka, and it seems as though we're clearly suffering from a lack of quality in defence. The attack seems strong, but hopefully Mr Transfer Genius will recognise the poor standard at the back and give me some new defenders. As you can see, all transfer activity has been handed over to the director of football, even for the youth team. I'm expecting a few new signings in pre-season, plus probably one or two to leave as well. However, our players in the first team are under contract, so it'll be interesting to see how this pans out. We have got some random friendlies already set up, including games against football league sides Leighton Orient and Peterborough United. I'm hoping to play Boston Town up first. I'm sure one or two more games will be added into the list as we go on. This season will hopefully be overloaded with cup competitions as both the FA Cup and FA VAR start early on, and then we'll have the United Counties League Cup introduced in November. Naturally, we're being expected by the board to win the league. However, the top two win promotion. I believe we're starting in the extra preliminary round in the FA Cup, so to reach the third qualifying round, we'll have to advance through four rounds, possibly against a club two levels above us. I'll personally be happy with the first qualifying round. Interestingly, we're not being judged on the FA Vars, but I see us as having a chance of going quite far in that competition. OK, it's time to advance through pre-season. I'll come back for the first game of the league season at home to Pinchbeck United shortly. Welcome to the first day of the United Counties Premier Division season. It's Boston United versus Hull Beach United, two Lincolnshire settlements that are less than 15 miles apart. Apparently this should be the match of the season. We are the two teams expected to win promotion. We're odds on to win the league and Hull Beach are even second favourites. Our striker Mark Bragg and attacking midfielder Joe Hilton are rated as the two best players in the division. Weirdly, Hilton isn't selected in the Dream Eleven, but that's probably due to him not being comfortable in any of the 4-4-2 positions. We do, however, have goalkeeper Richie Brannigan, fullback Daniel Canavaner, and midfielder Perry Douglas in the team alongside Bragg. Both Kavanagh and Brannigan are new signings, are only two so far. Kavanagh was signed from league rivals Rugby Town, but Brannigan was unattached, having previously played for Droylsden. We have lost winger Louis Baker to Brackley Town Saints, but he wasn't due to be a first-choice member of the squad. We're hoping to sign a left-back on loan in the next few days. This will then leave us short of quality in central defence and on the right wing. This is the lineup for today's game against Holbeach. Bragg has been in great form pre-season, scoring in all six friendlies. I expect our attacking midfield trio to chip in with some goals as well. But let's get to the game. It's going to be an intriguing season. Theoretically, with the players that we've got, we should do very, very well. And the director of football should bring in better players for us, especially compared to the rest of the league. But it all depends how well they gel, whether other higher division clubs come in for our players. Well, they've got a corner. We're in 2D. Brannigan's dropped it, I think, there. And they've put it in. Matt Warfield. It looked to me like the keeper came out and just dropped it. Let's watch the replay in 3D. Corner comes in. Yeah, he's gone for it. Dropped it. And it's been tapped in. It's 1-0 to Holbeach. Right, we've got a corner this time. 
goes in. It's with Holman to Douglas. He shoots and it's just gone in off the post. Rolled over the line, but it's a great goal from distance. So Bragg's taking the corners. It's cleared out. But absolutely lamps it. The post took some of the strength off the shot, but it, it's nestled into the back of the net. Oh, we've got another corner with Bragg. Goes in, and there's Douglas again. It's his second goal of the game. This man plays in central midfield. He's just there in the centre of the box. It's 2-1. Highlight immediately what's going to happen here. So Douglas almost catches the ball off them. Here's Hilton to Holman. Douglas with a chip ball over for Bragg, but he's absolutely spooned it. But we've reached half-time and we are 2-1 up. It's been an interesting game. Obviously, they went 1-0 up. The goalkeeping mistake, but Perry Douglas, is he going to be our star man? Is he going to be the surprise package? He is supposedly the best player in our midfield, but he's a ball-winning midfielder. He's not supposed to be scoring goals. Right, I don't really think there's anything to change. Obviously, Brannigan isn't doing very well, but we don't play a keeper on the bench. We're only having five subs. So we'll just carry on and we'll kick off the second half. Well, we've got another corner. Is this going to be our thing this season? It's Maxwell out to Bragg. Gets the ball in right across to Douglas. Crosses it in. But here's Bragg advancing. Hilton, is he going to turn? No, in the end. Gives it to Hallam and he curls the one what looked to be into the top corner. This should be a good one to look at in 3D. So Bragg advances into the box. Hilton passes it back to Hallam. Takes a touch and then absolutely slams it into the side netting. Right, I think it's time to make the first change. I'm just looking at that left back area. I'm going to bring Meredith on for Leggett. And then I think I'm going to take Maxwell off. I'm going to bring Landim on. He's our Guinea-Bissau youngster. He's only 16, I feel. Yeah, 16 years old. Francisco Landim from Guinea-Bissau can play anywhere across those attacking midfield positions. So I think he's going to either be a regular substitute or he might even find himself in the team at some point. We've got a long throw. It's gone in towards Bragg, but it's cleared. They're looking to counter, but Wright gets hold of it. Gives it to Landim. It looks like Setchell. Is he going off? OK, let's make this final substitution. Bragg has been very disappointing, but I think we're going to leave him out there. Can't really take off any of the midfielders. I'm just really going to have to look at the back. I think Steve Wright can come off. He's not had a good afternoon. Well, we've got a throw in in the right back position down the line towards Hilton. He gets on the ball, crosses it in, but it's cleared. He gets the ball back. It's with Kavanagh to Douglas. Can he score a hat trick? Just passing the ball about nicely in that midfield. It's cleared, but only towards Landim. He's got somebody on the overlap. Can we spread the ball out? We do. It's with Holman. He's going to drive into the box. He's going to shoot and he scores. That makes it 4-1 to the Pilgrims. We're living up to the billing as odds-on favourites to win the league. Hopefully this is a sign of good things to come. The team should really only get better. That's a great finish by Holman. And that's the full-time whistle. It's 4-1 to United. That's Boston United 4, Hull Beach United 1. Perry Douglas getting two goals in the first half. And Hallam and Holman adding two more in the second half. And we sit on top of the league. Just ahead of Loughborough University who beat Quorn by three goals to nil. And that's a very local derby. 
we had 18 shots to their seven and we had 59 percent possession well and truly deserved it they did have Danny Setchell sent off towards the end but the result was pretty much gone already and Douglas gets man of the match for his two goals in that first half we'll give him a bit of praise tell him we're very happy with his two goals and we'll look at the schedule so coming up we have got an FA Cup extra preliminary round against Wells City which we would be expected to win. It's at home. Got some league games coming up as well. And then there's an FA Vars second qualifying round game to come. I think what we're going to do, we're going to go forward a month or so. We'll get into September. We'll see what the FA Cup and Vars situations are. And we might come back for a bit of both. Because I think at some point during the season, we have consecutive Saturdays with Cup and Vars football. But if you've enjoyed the content of this video, as we attempt to get back into Conference North, please don't forget to leave a like. And for more videos, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.